Well, Steve, crews have been working since Wednesday, reinforcing part of the beach here along Camp Ellis. We also saw plenty of people out tonight taking their boats out of the water. It may be a cliche, but residents say they're uh, bracing for the worst, but hoping for the best. Whatever Mother Nature brings you, you got to deal with it. There's nothing, you know, nothing else you can really do. Mark Roberts says he learned his lesson after the last nor'easter, when waters rushed over the seawall and left roads like this one flooded. He says this time his things are inside and elevated. I'm kind of excited about it now that I'm prepared for it. I've got the uh, snowblower already up in the screen, uh, screen room here and the generators out of the garage. That's up here. So anything that's could get wet down in the garage is already up here on higher ground. CMP bringing in 100 additional crews ahead of the storm. Tonight we were there as dozens of crews from Canada's Holland Power Service headed south. Play it, just waiting to see what happens. So you're kind of ready for everything? I'm ready for everything. Uh, and you don't mind being here helping out me? No, we love coming to help out the neighbors. You heard those crews there. They say they're just waiting to see what happens tonight. Officials reminding people that if they do come across any dangerous conditions, just turn around and go home. Stay inside and stay safe. Live in Camp Ellis tonight, Aaron Dixon, WMTW News 8.